AirMed has been operating out of Dickinson since 2014. One young man who was in a near fatal car accident says without it, he might not be around today. Steve Kirch met up with him to hear his story. On December 2nd, 2018, Jaden Olson, his brother Johnny, and their friend Adrian were returning home from feeding his family's horses in Richardson when the three of them got into a horrific car accident on Highway 8. Got off too far on the side of the road and I rolled the vehicle and Jaden got ejected from the vehicle. Jaden was ejected about six feet from the vehicle and had to be rushed to a Dickinson hospital for traumatic injuries. First thing they asked me is who my pastor was. Mm -hmm. Freaked me out a little bit. The 20 year old had a traumatic brain injury and a ruptured spleen. He had to be transported to a hospital in Bismarck quickly for emergency surgery. Um, so that's where air med services are, are really advantageous because of the speed so we can get we can get those patients uh, to that specially specially service for Jaden the entire experience is like a dream I remember waking up in a hospital yes but I don't remember like how it why I was there but today the Taylor resident realizes that without Sanford Air Med he might not be sitting in his living room today with his parents those guys are awesome Miracle. He would not have gotten the surgery as quickly as he needed it, and then he would not have been able to make the progress that he's made already. Jaden spent about three weeks in a hospital and another two months in rehab. He's doing well and is back to work, enjoying life with his family. And for the men and women of Sanford Air Med, he has just a few words for them. Thank you so much. Steve Kirch, KX News. And Sanford Air Med in Dickinson does about 30 transports a month. Yeah, they're busy, but a recent Back change is helping them get the job done. Sanford Air Med's enjoying its new home at the Dickinson Theodore Roosevelt Regional Airport. Last fall, construction started on a new hangar, and that was in April, and they moved in. The hangar is dedicated solely to the Sanford Air Med crew and its aircraft. The crew members have their own living quarters, a kitchen, and a living room. Plus, the aircraft is in close proximity to them if they have an emergency call. Now, with all this, they say things are much easier. Um, things are going to be much more efficient. Uh, our liftoff times uh, will be much uh, will be reduced um, so because everything is going to be right there. Sanford Air Med plans to show off its new hangar at the open house. That's this Sunday for EMS Week. It'll be held from noon to three in their new hangar in Dick.